Hello stampers, welcome to my video. Today I am featuring the stamp set called Elegant Bundle. It comes with this uh, punch and I'm going to show you how to use it. I'm going to make a really cute card. Let me show you what we're doing. Let me move my camera down and we'll get started. Okay, here we go. I'm also featuring this beautiful paper, this DSP paper. It's called Simply Elegant. This paper is found on page 133. It's also found on page 69. It's a beautiful foil paper. It's got uh, gold, copper, and silver. So I'm thinking you're gonna love it. Here's the other side of it. And let me go ahead and show you. Here's the what we're gonna be needing for our project. This is um, the card. I'll show you the card. Here's the card I'm gonna do. I love it, it turned out so pretty. And I'm gonna make another one just like it, just to show you. Okay, we got, we're got. we gonna get started using our um, uh, stitch, rec, sticks, rec, sorry, our rectangular stitches. Uh, actually, in the book they call it that, but um, I like to call it stitched rectangles on page 165 and I've already stamped this and I cut it out and I use the very first one for this right here it's the one that I needed and it worked out great so let me put that aside and um, we'll go ahead um, I use the metallic pearls those are found on page 143 and um, <clears throat> also this uh, twine right here, found the gold twine is found on page, uh, let's see, 140. It, also, I really like this ribbon here for the next card that I'm going to show you. I'm doing two cards, so you'll be able to see um, a couple cards that I'm making with this um, Evergreen Elegance. So let me get started with this one since I've already got everything cut and um, ready to go. So let me start. I'm using this paper, this glue here. Haven't used it in a while, so I don't know how it's gonna do. Have to keep. Actually, I'm almost out of it, and it's. I guess it's working pretty good. I have to keep rolling it. There we go. So I'm going to glue this gold down first. Let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Oops, let me move that up just a little bit more. Make it even. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this ribbon. I cut me a piece of ribbon to put. Let's see, where is my ribbon? I guess I didn't cut two. So I'm going to cut another piece of ribbon. This is our gold shimmer ribbon. It's a quarter of an inch, and it uh, is beautiful. I love it. So let me, we're going to put it right in the middle here. Let me get my glue down. Okay. Now I got that on my fingers. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down right here. Get into the camera. Okay, there's that side. There we go. Then I'm gonna glue that. Let me make sure it's straight. Let me see, does that look straight? Pretty good. 
Maybe I'll move this side up a little. Let's see how's that? Okay, there we go. And then um, I'm going to glue that. I think I'm going to switch over to this glue. My green lid glue is actually my favorite. It's quicker. glue that on. I don't know if you guys don't have the stamp set, you're going to want it because it makes a great Christmas card. And really quick, too. Once you've got everything cut out, let me move in closer to the camera here. Move my placemat in. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to glue this over here to the gold and then I think I'm gonna I think I use dimensionals for that I did I used dimensionals so we'll put about five dimensionals on the back of this Like I said, this once you've got all your paper cut, you're going to want to do several of these at once. Uh, once you've got your paper all cut, it don't take long at all to put it together. And um, let's see if we can get this on here straight. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to use my, this right here, and I have got my, Take your pick tool. I always, I love this for the glue dots. So put the glue dot, roll it up a little bit, put it right there in the middle, and then I'm going to put my bow right there. And this card is done. There you go. You just stay, stamp the sentiment on the inside. And um, it's beautiful. It's got some really nice sentiments for Christmas. So there's that card. Hope you guys like it. Isn't that foil beautiful? And I use the gold foil also. So let me um, move on to the next card. And that is using this beautiful paper here. This is my favorite, I think. This would be like an all-occasion card. I think you could probably do Christmas if you wanted to. Those are close to poinsettias. These papers are, this paper is gorgeous. I love it because it's foil one side. Now this is the, um, the one that I just used right here. That's so beautiful. And then here's that one. Okay, let me show you this card here. This is the one that I'm going to do next. Actually, I'm not going to do the total card. I'm going to show you how to um, actually, uh, I'm going to talk you through the card. This, let's see if I got my card stock. I want to make sure. Okay, there's my envelope. So what I need to do now is um, I'm not going to, actually make the card. I'm just going to show you. Um, let me find my ink. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. First of all, you're going to use the punch. I don't know if you can see this right here. Okay, now you can see the, uh, the trees are here and they are also down here. And it gives you an indicator uh, when to move your paper over. So if you know what I mean, I'll show you. We're gonna start right on the edge of this paper, right here, and stamp. 
Then we're gonna line this paper up with the print down here where you can see the trees. See how you can line it up? I hope you can see that. So I'm gonna line it up and then I'm gonna stamp again. And you just make sure your paper is all the way in. See how that does? And so I've got one more um, row to do here. Let me line that up just right. You can see how to line it up with the tree and that's right there. So, whoops, I need to go back a little bit more. I'm gonna line it up right there. And that should do it. Okay, I'm gonna do two of these because I think I'm gonna need it for the next card. So I'm just gonna put that in there and move it over to where it lines up. You can see how I'm doing it. It's lining up perfect. Stand up and punch. And then move it over again to where it's lined up and punch again. And then you're done. It's easy as that. So now, actually you could do green trees if you want, but I'm not doing green. I'm going to color these trees. Special way to color them. What I'm going to do is take the old olive. Actually, it was the pear pizzazz, I think, that I used. Let me move this out of the way. Pretty sure it was a pear pizzazz. And it's kind of a dry ink pad, so I'm hoping that I'll get enough color. What you're going to do is just take it and run it across. And you're going to get some pretty colors. It almost looks like snow is on the trees. And um, there, because it's not, it doesn't actually make a solid color so you're just going to run it across isn't that cool i just love this idea so i've seen it somewhere there i'm not gonna that's enough <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is i wanted to show you um i'm gonna that's the envelope let me get Okay, so what you're going to do is um, you're going to stamp. Let me get my stamp. Here it is. And I'm using Pear Pizzazz because I like this color. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to actually stamp the trees on the card. You're just going to stamp. Yeah, it's getting very low on ink. And then you're going to stamp again. I need to put some refill in my ink pad. And I like to stamp uh, a second time. That way you get trees like they're in the background. So we're going to do this all the way um, to the end of the card. And then, there we go. Okay. And so then what you're going to do is you put your, your Christmas saying here, like I did in this card right here, and then you're gonna glue this on. Isn't that the coolest? I just love it. So let's go ahead and glue it on. I know, you're gonna say, what do I need with another stamp? <laughs> Once you see this, you're gonna want it. So let me, um, I'm gonna glue the bottom, but the top, I think I want to put dimensionals. So I'm going to get my mini dimensionals out. I can find them. Here they are. Okay. So I'm going to put them right here on some of the ones, some of the larger trees. We like for it to puff, puff up a little bit. Whoops. Let's see if I'm in the camera. Okay, I am. Okay, so I'm hoping you're enjoying this video. Okay, so let me just get these off. This is just a abbreviated instructions on how to use the punch. Okay, let me take these off. Oh my goodness, I should have put the dimensionals on first. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to add this to the card and show you how cute it is. 
Okay, so I'm going to add it right to the end here so there's no white showing right at the bottom. There we go. Yeah, and then there's the little where it's puffed up. So what I did too is I went ahead and stamped a third row on a couple of these to give it more dimension. So you can see once you put your sentiment on there, and then you can glue this piece onto a piece of uh, cardstock like this. And I did it with dimensionals. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you, and let me know what you think, okay? Bye-bye now.